The solid principles are a set of guidelines for writing well-structured and maintainable object-oriented code. They were popularized by Robert C. Martin, also known as Uncle Bob, in the early 2000s. Although the concepts themselves are based on earlier work from various software engineers and thought leaders, SOLID is an acronym that stands for five key principles. One, single responsibility principle, SRP. A class should have only one reason to change, meaning it should only have one job or responsibility. This makes the code easier to understand and maintain because each class has a clearly defined purpose. Example, if you have a class that handles both data validation and database operations, it would be better to split these into two separate classes, one for validation and one for database interactions. Two, open slash closed principle, OCP. Software entities like classes, modules, and functions should be open for extension but closed for modification. This means you should be able to add new functionality without altering existing code, typically achieved through inheritance or interface implementation. Example, if you have a payment processing system that initially supports credit card payments, you should be able to add support for other payment methods like PayPal without changing the existing credit card payment code. Three, Liskov substitution principle, LSP. Objects of a superclass should be replaceable with objects of a subclass without affecting the correctness of the program. This principle ensures that a subclass can stand in for its superclass without causing unexpected behavior. Example, if you have a class animal with a method make sound and a subclass dog that extends animal, you should be able to use an object of dog wherever animal is expected and it should work correctly. Four, interface segregation principle, ISP. Clients should not be forced to depend on interfaces they do not use. This principle encourages creating smaller, more specific interfaces so that implementing classes only need to concern themselves with methods that are relevant to them. Example, instead of having an interface named, I smell, separate them into, I bad breath, I body odor, and I pass gas. Five, dependency inversion principle, dip, High-level modules should not depend on low-level modules. Both should depend on abstractions, e.g., interfaces. Additionally, abstractions should not depend on details. Details, concrete implementations, should depend on abstractions. Example, instead of a user service class directly instantiating a user repository class, user service should depend on an interface iUser repository. Concrete implementations of iUser repository such as user repository, can then be injected into user service, promoting decoupling and easier testing. Adopting solid principles in your code can lead to more maintainable, scalable, and understandable software, which is why many job postings emphasize knowledge of these concepts. If you're looking to brush up on your skills or learn more, there are plenty of resources available online, such as books, courses, and articles focused on each principle and their practical applications. Thanks for watching.